And we've been joined by UConn coach Paul Pasqualoni. Uh, as we said, the Huskies now 0-2 overall. Uh, they played Maryland on Saturday. Maryland uh, was a 32-21 to winner. Uh, Huskies back in action this Saturday against Michigan at Rensselaer Field. That will be an 8 p.m. Eastern time start, and the game will be carried on ABC television. Coach, thanks for joining us on the call. If you would take a minute to tie up the game against Maryland, uh, and then tell us what you're looking forward to back against Michigan uh, in prime time, please. Well, uh, we didn't play uh, well enough, uh, consistent enough, I should say. At times we played well. Uh, against Maryland. Uh, great credit to Maryland. Uh, I thought C.J. Brown, uh, their quarterback, uh, really had uh, uh, a big night. Um, we had problems tackling him uh, in space uh, and uh, got the ball to Stefan Diggs uh, a couple times on play actions and bootlegs uh, that hurt us a couple of times. So uh, we just weren't able, you know, we had a pick for a touchdown and we had a safety so we gave up some points in a game like that that you just you know you just can't give up against a good team uh now we have uh you know obviously a great team in michigan you know coming in here with just you know great personnel uh both sides of the ball very strong and aggressive on defense and obviously devin carter is uh an outstanding quarterback uh, so for the second week, you know, we will face a quarterback who can beat you two ways, you know, with his arm and uh, with his feet. Uh, outstanding uh, tailback. Uh, maybe the best uh, left tackle in college football. Uh, and just really, really good personnel across the board. Take questions for Coach Pasqualoni, please. Hit star one on your telephone to join the queue, and then the operator will introduce you. Here we have uh, no questions at this time. Well, let's start one for questions for Coach Pascaloni, please. And pardon me, we do have some questions. We'll go to Joey Knight with the Tampa Bay Times. Coach, what can you hang your head on from week one to week two from, from Towson to Maryland where you feel like your team made the biggest step or biggest stride? Well, I think that uh, we we did a, uh, a good job uh, improving uh, in, in a lot of areas, although it doesn't uh, necessarily show it. We don't have a lot to show for it. Uh, but I do think that from a uh, pass game standpoint, I thought that, uh, you know, we did a, we did, uh, a really good job. Uh, Chandler threw the ball, you know, probably too many times for about 350 yards, which is a lot. Uh, so I think we, we did a pretty good job there. I thought we were better running routes. Uh, I thought the timing of getting throws off was much more consistent than it was. Uh, I thought we played well in short yardage on defense. Uh, you know, we had a couple of fourth and one stops there that were really, you know, pretty critical in the game. Uh, I thought we stripped the ball better. Uh, we came up with a couple of fumbles. Uh, and and really, uh, we missed a couple of tackles. A, uh, we let a couple of runs, big runs, get out. But I thought uh, we defended uh, their inside run game pretty good. Uh, we had some problems with CJ, uh, but I thought the inside run game we we got pretty good with. So I think there's some areas that we did improve uh, improve on. <clears throat> And we'll go next to Mark Snyder with the Detroit Free Press. Hey, Coach. When you look at how much Michigan struggled against Akron the other day, were there things that you saw from the Notre Dame game, other than the obvious interceptions, that, that really stood out to you? Uh, no, you know, not really. I think that, uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, Michigan can't be, uh, sky high every single week. I mean, they're they're playing, you know, just come off of a real big game, and you know, Akron I'm sure was able to spend a lot of time on them, and you know, a really big game um, out at Michigan. Uh, so I thought uh, I thought Michigan showed their their character, 
you know, in the end, keeping them out of the end zone and doing what they had to do, really, to win the game, you know. And, uh, you know, Michigan will be ready to play. I promise you that. You guys don't have the same advantage that Akron had of looking for a letdown? Uh, no. Uh, you know, they just they just had that. Uh, they just had a close one. Uh, I'm sure their coaches are telling them too close for comfort. Uh, so let's, you know, get focused on this and let's dial it in and let's go. So I think that uh, it's not because it's us. It's just because it's the next opponent. And uh, uh, they'll do a good job of being ready to play. And we'll go next to Tim Gaffney with LitchfieldCountySports.com. Morning, Coach. Can you uh, speak to the running game? How, you know, what, yeah. what kind of different things you're going to yeah, do? Yeah, you know, we we gotta we've got to find a way to get that running game on track. It's just, you know, the uh, you know while we we really we carried the ball 28 times, you know, we we ran it 28 times Saturday, and uh, we only averaged about 2.8 yards a whack. Uh, I don't. I don't mind. You know. Uh, you know. I don't mind that. In as much as we got to finish some blocks, we got to run it a few more times, and we got to get the back to come out of there for some explosive plays. You know, uh, the back is not going to come out of there. You know, 12 times a game for a big play or an explosive play, but we've got to get a few more. We got to get a few more than we're getting, and it's a matter of finishing some blocks up front, and it's a matter of making sure the back uh, is hitting the is hitting the right hole, you know, and, uh, and not trying to do too much, and you know, uh, sees sees the uh, the seams and, and sees you know where where he can get get that get that ball to the line of scrimmage. So we we've got to find a way, you know, we're going to work on it hard this week again. Uh, you know, and just keep. I just think you got to keep pounding it in there, and uh, if you do what you're supposed to do, hopefully something good will happen to you. And you, you talked uh, at halftime about the little things, you know, being done. The uh, the two punts not converted inside the five, which you know lead to two 80 yard drives on their part. Yeah. Uh, the turnovers in the first half not being converted to enough points. So those things happen differently. And that could be a different game, correct? Oh yeah, I mean, you know, the the shame of that game, you know, the shame of that game is is that, you know, we missed the tackle on on the quarterback, and he goes 41 yards for a touchdown. So that that's one thing. And then we blow the coverage, and it's a 48 yard gain, and we keep him out of the end zone. You know, and they kick three. So, you know, two plays, self-inflicted wounds. We give up 10 points in the first half, and then. We've got a safety in a, in a pick in a pick for six point seven points. So, uh, you know, taking nothing away from Maryland, they played a very good game. Their quarterback was outstanding, uh, but we, you know, we 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 just had too many self-inflicted wounds. One more thing is just on the crowd uh, versus the first you know weeks, two weeks. Later, what did you think about the energy? I thought it was crowd? great. I thought the crowd. I thought the crowd was into it. I thought that uh, you know. Uh, they were great. I think that we've got to do our part, you know, uh, at the end to win the game. And I think the crowd, the crowd was great. Thanks, Coach. Yeah. And we'll go next to Mark Snyder with the Detroit Free Press. Hey, Paul. When you were going, when you decided to try to take this job, and you started meeting with Ward Manuel, what are your impressions of him, and what's your relationship like with him now? Oh, I, I think we have a very good relationship. You know, Ward is, uh, you know, he's he's a great guy to be around. You know, being at Michigan, obviously, um, you know, years back when I was younger, I had a chance to get to know Bo, meet Bo a little bit. Uh, I was part of the AFCA, the American Football Coaches Association, for a lot of years. And, uh, you know, uh, got to know Bo, got to know Shemmy, uh Bo's son, and, and probably got to know Bo a little bit through Shemmy, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. So always, you know, always had uh, such a high regard for Bo and, and the guy he was, and uh, you could see a lot of that. Uh, you could see the impact that for Ward being at Michigan with Bo, you know, had. So that's real football, in my opinion. Uh so Ward is uh, Ward, Ward's good to be around. Thank you. 
And do we have any other questions for Coach Pasqualoni, please? We have no more questions at this time. All right, time. thanks. All right, thanks, Coach. We'll look forward to talking to you next week. And that is UConn against Maryland, I'm sorry, against Michigan this Saturday at Rensselaer Field, 8 p.m. start on ABC.